what is up guys, it's Ethan from Crank Gameplays. Today, we are back in the heaviest rain of them all. Let's just go right back into it. That's Ethan. Cold and alone. All by him alone to themselves. <laughs> this is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. The douchiest bag in the tell him what happened. It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while. And then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him the on carousel. one of the wooden horses. And when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. I think, I think it was like four it or something. It must have been about... Uh, 4.15? 4.15. Yeah, that's it, 4.15. I remember exactly, because I looked at the clock in the park when we arrived. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He, he was, was wearing, wearing a coat. A uh, beige coat? A beige coat. And a pair of pants. Uh. Uh. Black pants? Black pants. How could Think. Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? Uh. I. S I can't remember. I... I can't remember exactly. It all happened so fast. You say you took your son to the park after school. I did. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? Uh... I searched for him. I searched That's the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, Mr. Mars? Anything that might have caused him to run away? Well... Ah, uh, yes, his brother did die. Sean is a sensitive child. Our relationship has been a little difficult recently. Yes, yes. Everything okay at school? Any particular problems between you and your wife? Yes. Uh, Got my wife and I have been separated for the last six months. But Sean would not have gone off without telling his mother or me. All right. Mysterious. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. All right. Gotta save our boy, Sean. Do, do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and I'll turn you gotta think on the positive side, sir. But what if it is the origami killer? Then well, then we have about four days to find him alive. That's an encouraging thing to say. Thanks, Mr. Asswipe. What a douche! And so the insanity begins. Hi, Grace. What's up, baby? Did they find something? They found him dead. No, nothing yet. But they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they... do they think it's the origami killer? They know it's the origami killer. Who else would it It's be? still too early to say. But it is a possibility. <laughs> what happened to Ethan? <gasps> How could you lose Sean like that? I just did some cocaine you before and it was ruined. Him. Hey, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? It's pretty Why difficult. I mean, my ADHD Why? is pretty severe. Wasn't it enough losing Jason? Don't do that to me, Grace! You know how hard it is. That's not what I meant to say. What a hoe. What a hoe. <laughs> I got a tweet! <laughs> Tweets. Tweet me if you want. Twitter. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Twitter.com slash crank gameplays. You'll find many things. Like tweets there. Pictures of my dog. Go follow me. Or not. You don't have. Who are we now? Scott Shelby! 
This is the man that you want to be. Those beautiful, lustrous green eyes. Lustrous. Is that a real word? Tell me in the comment section below. Is lustrous a real word? Now, Scott, you gotta tell me. Is it the origami killer? Is he taking that boy's shot? Cheers, dear. 9.52 p.m. 1.394 inches of rainfall. The heaviest rainfall of all. And we've got our boy, Rakim, here at the store. Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. Thank you, Rakim. Now, I'm looking for a very specific medication. I'm looking Can for... Can I help you, sir? Oh, yes, sir. Well, I hope sir. so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My Rakim? son is dead. I know, Rakim, but you gotta help me I out, sir. I have nothing sir. more to say. Rakim! Persist. You may know something that could help save other people's lives. I was unable Rakim, to save think about the, the life children. of my own son. I do not see how I could save the lives of other people. Save Sean. The killer has kidnapped another victim. A ten-year-old boy. Like your son, Risa. I have four days before Risa we find and Rocky. his body on a deserted stretch of wasteland. Come on, no Rocky, use it! To save my use son. It. Little pit of hats. Now, you would please to move along, sir. He's crying. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out, and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thank you, Thanks. sir, Rakim. You're a good hearted gentleman. Scott, you gotta take care of your asthma, pal. Your asthma. By the way, guys, if you didn't know I'm doing a giveaway, where, uh, there we go. The asthma. Um, and. <gasps> good evening, sir. What's up, mate? You looking Are up to no good? Looking for something in particular? Give me what you got in the register. No! I fucking try anything. Sir? We gotta save Rocky. In the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Come on now, sir. Shit, are you deaf or what? Ah! Are you gonna open that fucking this register way. or not? No. Scott! You Scott! The right to Move the correct money. way. I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. We got this, what Scott. Did you say? You're out of your fucking mind, man. You don't get it, do you? I'm gonna put the fucking bullet right between your eyes turn if you don't do what I say now! Hey, you! Come here! I said come here now! Don't move! I'm not moving! I'm not hands moving! Up. Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot! They're up. They're up. Ah, uh, calming. Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Uh, we're all just gonna be cool, and everything will be all right. Yeah. Are you deaf? I said put your hands up. My hands are up, Where madam. Are you? I'll shoot. They're up. Uh, name. Name. Uh, my name's Scott. What about you? Is your name What's Rakim? Your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. Hey, Andrew, how's it going, pal? Uh, reason. Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down and just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice. Don't shoot me. Effective. Do you have anyone you care for in your life? Mm. A, a girlfriend, maybe? A family? Yeah. A little girl. I got a little girl. <laughs> Her name's Jessica. Think about Jesse. What would Jessica think if she saw you here? Ask yourself, what would happen to her if things go wrong? Uh, drop the weapon, Andy. Now, I want you to put the gun back in your pocket and quietly walk out of the store. My friend and I will forget about what just happened, and you'll have earned a second chance not to fuck up your life. What do you say? All set. 
Rakim and I will forget everything. Go back to nice Jessica. Try. For a second there, you almost had me believing all your shit. Don't shoot me! Sir! And now... Sir! X buttons! <laughs> Triangles! Bamble llamas! Damn, I wanted to help you save Jessica. But obviously... It's too bad. Oh, and thank you, sir. I don't know what would have happened wow. if you had not been well, here. You would have been this shot. This didn't come by for nothing. Hakeem, you would have been have shot. A nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. These books. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. <laughs> Can I? No. Please. Let's see that. What size shoe? That's all that matters. You know what big shoes Please mean. Take the box if it can be big of feet. any use to you at all. You know what big feet mean. It did not help me to it save Razor. But maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Thank you, sir. Bye, Rakim. Mr. Shelby. I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. But I can see now that I was wrong. Rakim, your word of wisdom touched me. <sighs> well, should have grabbed some gum on the way out. Gonna pause it here. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like. Oh my God, it's Madison. She has boobs. So I will see you guys next time. Leave a like if you enjoyed and a comment saying what you guys thought about the episode if you guys want more. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye.